We're drilling underneath the White River here in Indianapolis. So this is a dual 30 inch line, uh, water cooling line for Citizens Energy. First one is about 1,340 feet, just because of the compound radius we had to put in it. And then the second line that shifts 20 feet to the north of it ended up being roughly 1,400 feet. It's mostly a sand shot, a little bit of cobble here and there. Drilling has always been a better option when you're dealing with rivers or large crossing, water body crossings like this because we can get down, we can get underneath that river without disturbing anything. We're not putting any pollutants in there. We're approximately 70 foot underneath that river right now with where we're drilling. At that distance, the chance of us having drilling fluid coming to the surface where we don't want it to are slim. We always maintain and monitor just in case we would have an issue like that, but it reduces the chance of us putting any type of contaminants or anything into that river. This is what we call our 440 drill rig. It has its own drill cab. That's where the operator sits. He runs all the controls. He can tell exactly what that cutter is doing underneath the ground when he's pulling it through. It's been a joint effort between KS and Miller from the start. Uh, this was originally Miller's project. Handed it off to KS because we have this equipment on hand to do so. Uh, Miller's been great helping out. The oversight from John and from the Miller team has been wonderful helping us get set up. We'll get the pipe pulled in, pressures are low and we pull, that means we cut a great hole, that pipe slides in there, no damage to your product pipe, everybody's happy at the end of the day. We get to move on to another project and keep doing what we enjoy doing.